I'm standing in what was once Kermit Dacus' radio shop, known simply as the Dacus Radio Shop. Now you might wonder why I'm focusing on a radio shop for this discussion. Well, in 1943, a young man named Doc Watson came here to the Appalachian Theater to appear on Kermit Dacus' radio program that he was broadcasting from the Appalachian Theater on a radio station that he'd given the call letters of WDRS to. DRS standing for Dacus Radio Shop. Now that sounds all well and good, and it is documentation that indeed Doc Watson did play the Appalachian Theater. The bad news is that just a month after Doc played here, federal authorities came storming through the door to Dacus's radio shop and came to a back room located in this space, threw open the door, and found Kermit Dacus and two musicians in the midst of recording a radio show. Now you might wonder why the federal authorities were so worried about his radio show. Well, it turns out that WDRS was a bootleg radio station. Kermit didn't have a federal broadcaster's license to be operating on that frequency. And so federal authorities promptly took Mr. Dacus into custody, took him down to Wilkesboro, and had him arrested and charged on federal charges of broadcasting without a license. When Mr. Dacus returned a year later, uh, to Boone, he reopened his Dacus radio shop in another location and continued to have a thriving business here in Boone well into the 1960s.